Hey, as you can see, I'm out on my back porch and I decided to pin up a photograph on the railing here. So you might hear some wind noise or some distracting noises, but I'm going to take a look at this photograph of Lyndon Bain Johnson supposedly taking the oath of office on the plane. Now, before I actually analyze the photograph, I want to talk a little bit about that. He's taking it on the plane. There are three planes of existence. Okay, there are three heavens. And the first heaven is what you see with your eyes, the stars, the moon, the sky above you. The second heaven is above that and it's where there are demonic beings, powerful spiritual beings who rebelled against God in the second heaven and in the third heaven is where God lives. Zion, meaning the Bible word Zion, not the number seven, but Zion itself, the dwelling place of God. So he will take the oath of office on the plane. Now basically he's taking it on the second plane of existence where the demons dwell, uh, the spiritual beings, uh, powers and principalities, okay? Uh, the demons actually more inhabit the earth, so pardon me on that one, but I'm going to say where the powerful spiritual entities dwell on the second level or the second plane. So the first thing we're going to notice is one-eyed symbolism. Now the one eye comes from the prophet Zechariah where he's talking about the spirit of Antichrist and the darkening of the one eye, the right eye, so that the left eye is showing. Now we're going to see one-eyed symbolism sort of everywhere, but the most obvious one right now is this one right behind the so-called President of the United States with the eyeglasses. And let's focus in on that eye. It looks a little peculiar. Okay, the one eye looking at you. Now, we'll find another one here. They're real easy to find. Okay, it's in none other than Mrs. JFK, or Jackie, or Marilyn Monroe, <laughs> who played Jackie, by the way. Marilyn Monroe. Okay, and we see a one-eyed symbolism there. Now if you look just to the side of where Jackie is, we'll see another one. Kind of squelched in there between LBJ and Jackie. You've got another one eye looking right at you. It's completely unnatural by the way, <laughs> the way they squelched all these people together. And if we go right smack above that, you'll get another one eye. <laughs> and then just above that, now I'm going to mention something that's off in the corner that I think it really looks like a demon to me. It might actually just be the, the way they dressed up the lights. 
on the so-called plane. This is probably just a fake airplane. It's a setting. But it looks to me like a demon back there. But I believe it's supposed to be the lights for the uh, so-called jet or the, or the airplane. Might not have been jet at the time. Okay, now once again, there's a little bit of wind blowing. And this is on my back porch. And this is supposed to be Lyndon Baines Johnson taking the oath of office on the plane. And I'm going to suggest that that's the second plane of existence where the, demont the spiritual entities dwell that are in rebellion against God, the powers and principalities and rulers, uh, those types of entities. Demons are mostly uh, on the earth, but those other entities are in the second heavens. And that's why he took the oath of office on the plane. And I'll do a little more with this photo in my next video. Thank you for watching.